Well, I got my uh, last little triangle in down there and uh, pretty much finished the rear part now. I'm gonna start on the side, but to do that, I'm gonna start with the fenders first here, which is what I got cut. Um, the guy who I'm building it for wants these just simple angle like that, I guess. I It was really hard to figure out how I wanted to do mine too, because it's, I don't know. Well, it's kind of lame and boring too. Next one I might do like in and then out of it more or I have no idea. It's kind of hard to figure out a design for those because they're just kind of boring being out there. But yeah, I got these cut to the right length and uh, the back ends about here and then it comes up and tapers in to here, which is where the end of the toolboxes sit. And then there's a toolbox here. So once I tack both of these guys on here, then I just need to do a little triangle in this area here, and then I can put a triangle on the side to finish. Well, there's one fender. Now I got to do the other one. I really want to see uh, one of these decks on a single rear wheel truck with no fenders, though. That'd be sick. Somebody should uh, put one on their truck like that. That'd be really cool, I think. I was just walking up my stairs here and looked back at this deck and uh, the taper on the front of the fenders, I'm actually really liking that now. That looks sick like that. I think it even looks better than mine. Dang it. Well, a little more pieces here. Got this triangle that uh, holds up my fender here, holds it level. I mean, these are surpri these things are surprisingly strong for having uh, like no support. Like this is the only thing supporting it is the this, and this whole area is just open. And like I mean, I stand on mine all the time. Like it's actually a super good design. You can just use this as a handle, and then this is a step because the freaking toolboxes hang out so long, and you just like literally walk right up here. That's great, but. It's just surprising that how strong these uh, pieces of steel are just hanging out like that. But it works really well, so I'll keep that design. Well, that's about it for everything now. Got the whole rear done and the fenders and stuff here. I haven't welded anything yet. That's what I'm just about to start on, but... That's how it's gonna be. I think it turned out pretty good. Everything fit really nice, actually. I was surprised. So, it should be really easy to weld, really easy to grind. Shouldn't take very long. I wish this camera would focus sometimes. That'd be nice. I'm just uh, working on my Cummins right now. Um, I noticed, well, everybody's third gen. Usually this back door here, the speaker stops working or the lock, auto lock stops working and stuff like that. And I mean, I've always known exactly what it is. I just haven't got around to fixing it. I haven't really cared that much, but my speaker here started cutting out, so I fixed that one. It was just a loose connection. And then, so I figured I might as well do this one too. If you look here, all it is, is because this uh, thing has a pretty sharp bend when you close the door, it just wears through the wires here. So you can see there's a couple broken wires in there. So there's your speakers and your locks right there. It's pretty straightforward to fix. It's kind of annoying though too. I've noticed, uh, well, probably 90% uh, of the Dodge Rams this year that I've had anyways that's been broken and I know a couple of my friends theirs is broken too so easy fix just gotta do it so you can see here I just pulled off my uh, door panel and pulled my speaker out just uh, so you get a little bit of room back there I got these uh, Kenworths all around actually they're super good speakers but yeah once you get enough room in there 
You get your hand back in here and there's a couple clips and stuff you can unclip like uh, like that one there. I didn't need to do that one, but they're like that all back behind there. You get a couple out and then you get enough room you can pull your wiring harness out. And then you can see it's just four broken wires. It's just because these uh, this stupid thing here it's all kinked and stuff. Really common on these trucks. So we'll just join those up and then we'll be done. Yeah, that one's working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds like it's working. Nice, so easy. Wonder if the lock works. Can we see it through here? Oh, it's working, I can hear it. Awesome. Done. Well, I pretty much got this thing licked now. I'm just uh, cleaning up little things here and there and getting uh, everything to the stage that I'm gonna start flapping it. Well, I mean like everything needs to be practically smooth, no bumps or anything, no fuck ups with uh, just the grinding and then I can come back and I can hit it with the flapper and it'll just make it really nice. But I think it turned out really, really good actually. I'm really happy with it. So that's pretty cool. I just uh, yeah finished cleaning up these little things now and then I just gotta drill the holes for the mounting points and that's it and it's done. I'm hoping to uh, get it loaded on my trailer today, hopefully tonight, and uh, leave for Saskatchewan to deliver it tomorrow morning, hopefully. I'm not sure if it's actually going to happen, but we'll see. I'm just uh, waiting for my buddy to bring my trailer back right now. I let him borrow it for a little bit, so he should be pulling in here any minute, hopefully. Well, I'm still flopping away on this thing, cleaning it up, but my neighbor stopped by and I convinced him to let me use his uh, mag drill. So I marked up my holes to do the um, the mounting points, I'm gonna do that. So that's gonna save so much time. These things are the best. If you've never seen one of these before, it's like literally a big magnet in here and you turn it on and it's just stuck to stuff so you can Put it upside down or on the side or whatever you want anywhere as long as there's metal there it's stuck so that's gonna be pretty fun to use that thing other than that it's looking pretty good well there it is she's done loaded up ready to go i'm gonna leave for uh saskatchewan first thing tomorrow uh, hopefully that goes good. Hopefully I don't get pulled over or anything. Holy Jesus. My uh, truck is not the uh, most um, stealthy vehicle, I would say. I mean, the cops really like it, sadly enough. It's not like I do anything bad. I drive slower than everybody, but the cops sure do seem to like pulling me over in that thing. So, whoa. So, Hopefully all goes good. I'll drive the fucking speed limit the whole way. And uh, it's about a, mm, I think 2,000 kilometer drive there and then 2,000 kilometers back. But I'm gonna take a different way back because I gotta stop at my old place and grab my air compressor and stuff. Hopefully find a plasma cutter on the way too. Well, yeah. Well, I was trying to drive to Alberta, but the road between Banff and, uh, Golden was closed, so I'm stuck here on the side of the road. But I think I'm gonna head down to Kimberley and visit some friends and my brother and stuff like that, so whatever. I guess I'll fucking postpone it a day and do it tomorrow. Truck's running amazing, though. I'm getting about, uh, 14 liters to 100 kilometers right now. I think I can get a little more if I up my rail pressure a little bit. Give it a go. 
I'll just stop for a little rest to fill up my truck here and see my brother at his quarry here. He's running the hole doing some digging. But uh, I was just interested to look at all the rust it's got already. I mean, it was only raining for maybe an hour. But holy, did it really do a number on this thing. I'm definitely gonna start recommending people uh, get at least a coat of primer on there before it gets transported or leaves my shop. Cause it's a little ridiculous. It's not that bad, I mean, like I'll lick my finger and yeah, if you hit it with a good solvent, it might might come up clean. You wouldn't have to sand it at all, but still, if it's just one extra step, it's just kind of unnecessary. You're kind of going backwards at that point. But trip's going good. Truck's loving it. Got a couple things I'm gonna uh, mess around with in my tuning tonight. I have a couple ideas of how I could do a little bit of fuel economy. I'm just gonna uh, throw a little more rail at it and match timing. And hopefully it reacts in a positive way. Ah, you need to get a better tune on that thing, bud. Smarty. <laughs> it's pretty smoky. He needs to uh, get the old HP tuners going soon.
could do to me. That's freaking easy. Your truck could be like this too. All you gotta do is come see me and I'll throw a freaking I'll throw a tune on there for my HP tuners. And then uh, you'll be good to go too. Everybody who has my tunes on them, they're just loving them, so let me know if you want one. I'll hook you up. And then uh, another great thing about this truck too. My old exhaust brake here. Now we're going down the other side and uh, no feet on the brakes, no feet on any pedals. Down this steep hill and as you can see, the speed is not increasing. Stop in and check my straps, take a piss, everything looks good. Oh yeah, those taillights look awesome. Trucks are amazing. Why wouldn't it be? It's my Cummins. Off we go again.